guys, welcome to week three in our April series in our fours and fives class. Um, this week we have a lot of awesome things, kind of getting back into the track of our theme and our curriculum. Um, we took a, a week off with the Lumberjack Challenge, which I hope you guys enjoyed. We had so much fun. We were so thankful for all of you guys who were here and participated, um, and I think our kiddos loved it. So this week as we're getting back into our normal routine, uh, we are going to be learning about how Jesus... Um, that how people can change when they know Jesus. So a great story that we're going to be focusing focusing on to help us learn that and kind of get it into our kiddos' hearts is the story of when Saul is changed into Paul. Um, it's a really awesome story, and I think the kiddos are going to really understand it, and it's going to be something that they're going to be able to take out um, into the world and really um, be able to tell their friends about how we change when we know Christ. So um, another thing that we're doing that we did that first week and then we skipped last week is our breaking news kind of sensory play, um, active play area. So we have all the different items I've kind of told you about. We have... Um, the microphones and the uh, video camera and they get to just pretend that they <coughs> are newscasters and so that first week they got to play with these different things and then we had the weather so they're going to have that in there they can continue on um, for example you could have kiddos pretend to be the weather person or to be the newscaster and they're going to talk about the weather all the different things sunny um, rainbow um, if there's wind or if there's snow, stuff like that, that's all in here. But for this week and adding on from that last week, we're gonna have a picture of the empty tomb. So the theme is this month that Jesus is alive and that we can tell others about that. So there's gonna be a picture of the empty tomb. So they get to uh, report about that. And then also um, for this week in particular, it's about how people are being added to the, to the church uh, every day, every moment, how new people are coming to know Jesus. So we have pictures of people. There's four different ones, and um, they can just talk about that. New friends coming to know Jesus, and then these pictures. So that'll be uh, in your active play sensory area this weekend. Um, I know that Miss Shelby's class has done like an awesome job, and they've been really loving it. Basically, they're saying that uh, kids can't talk. So if they're going around the circle, if our kids are doing things, they can't talk unless they have a microphone. So they've really taken um, like a great stands on that and done really well with that. So if that's your first activity, after that your twos will come down for your worship and your Bible story. Like I said, it's Saul turning into Paul. And then after that, once they leave, we're gonna do just a memory verse recap. Um, so basically we have this fun flashlight uh, and it kind of ties in with their story, but you can turn all the lights off in their room, close the blinds, and each kid can come into the light. You can shine it on them and they can repeat their memory verse. And so it'll just be a little fun thing um, to do. Uh, part of that story is because Saul ends up being blind um, and then ends up getting his vision back. So I think they're kind of tying it, it in in that way. Um, lastly is their craft, which this week is a little complicated. So I'm gonna walk you through it. Um, they're basically gonna be making kind of their version of a, like a big news in the um, lights. And so each kiddo is gonna get one piece of paper that says big news. And then what they're gonna do, and you might need to prep this beforehand, is you're gonna put an index card over the big news so it's covered because they're gonna actually paint around it. And then we're gonna have these little uh, dot circle stickers that they are then going to cover around their um, index card. And the idea here is that, and it doesn't matter what color, it doesn't even need to be a lot, probably like just two or three probably three on each side. And so then once it is all covered, it's gonna be like that will eventually look like the lights. So it's gonna look something like this. And then we're gonna take this red paint, which you'll be able to put on little uh, round plates and give each kiddo probably a half of a sponge. I'll have them cut for you. You'll stick it into the sponge and then you're gonna, sorry, a little messy. Then you're gonna just have them dot it all over their piece of paper. And, um, and then after they're done, they're gonna take all their stickers and the index card off, and then it's gonna look like a fun little neon light for them. So that's what they'll do for their craft, and I'll be around to help you guys if you need anything. Um, and that's all I have for you guys this week. So if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, well, actually, yeah, no, I'll be around. Next week, I'll be out, but this week, I'll be there, and I will see you guys soon. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.